My first reaction uh, to Donald Trump being elected was one of great sadness. We are such a better people than this. You know, I mean, this guy is a circus ape. It's like somebody found an albino gorilla and fucking shaved him and gave him a bad haircut, you know? I don't get the sense he's a deep thinker. And I will cop to this, I'm 57 years old, my generation fucked it up. The cement heads I went to high school with pretty much voted for Trump. You know, that's who they are. You know, I, I went to high school in a lily white suburb and, uh, you know, they got very, very addicted after 400 years of oppressing everybody else to all this privilege. It's high time they woke up and smelled the coffee. You know, and evinced a more ecumenical, generous uh, worldview that allows other people in. The Obama presidency gave a hint to us that, hey, maybe it's time to spread it around a little. Maybe it's time for it to be more equitable. Maybe it's time to welcome people of color and the refugees we created into our country. I believe what it says on the Statue of Liberty, you know, give me your poor, uh, you're tired, you're huddled masses. Yeah, absolutely. We're a country of people who had to go somewhere else. You know, the idea that we're going to start putting up a fence and, and not letting people in and uh, discriminating against immigrants, uh, it's wholly un-American. Being an American, being a citizen is a responsibility. You know, and if you don't like what you see in the world, you're, you're honor-bound to uh, get involved in changing it. People my children's age understand that more intuitively. They were all worried about the millennials. Oh, the millennials aren't gonna vote. Oh, yeah. What horse shit. You know, 50% of this country didn't vote, but it wasn't millennials, it wasn't young people. The night after the election, there were 6,000 of them right in front of <laughs> Trump Tower, you know? I was so proud of them. Yeah, okay, you have a little morning period, a few days. You know, light up a bomber, have a few beers, you know, sleep for a couple of days, scream into your pillow, <laughs> you know, have fucking night terrors, and then put the, those uh, significant energies to work. Artists, our responsibility regarding the policies, the bigotries and the hatreds of, of Trump, we go to war with that kind of idealism. We go to war with the, uh, against the, the bigotry and the hatred and the misogyny. No, not in our house. We, we're a better, better people than this. My fear is what someone like Trump can do to a democracy because all of the ideas he evinces are uh, not democratic principles in the least. I believe that in, in the political circus, in the, in the sea of politics, you don't ever let the assholes forget their assholes. You don't ever let the unjust forget their unjust. And when they do dirt, you shine a light on it. He will get no peace from me. None at all.